Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So we're gonna tap in with Spirit to see what is the message for today, okay? So Spirit, please allow me to tap in with the collective. What does the collective need to receive right now? All right, we have partnerships and alliance. We have the sacral chakra. We have temptation. We have sacrifice. And we have patience and planning on the bottom of the deck. All right, let me get uh, some more cards from here. And then I'm going to see what is the overall message. diet to raise your vibration i overflow with creativity and good ideas and self-love is the highest frequency that attracts everything that you want bottom of the deck we have uh, i let go of what does not serve me with ease okay all right um so with the partnerships and alliance i feel like you could be I see teamwork here. You know, maybe you're working with somebody. The universe is ready to deliver you your blessings. I see that, um, look, one to three months, okay? So in one to three months, I feel like something's going to be popping off for you. Um, with the sacred chakra, that's connecting to overflowing with creativity and, and good ideas. So I feel like um, whatever it is that you're trying to do, I feel like you're overcoming temptations. Can y'all see this? Or do I have to pick up the cards? You're overcoming temptations. There's a lot of temptations around you. And I feel like you're just focusing on, on the goal here, okay? I feel like you're being patient. I feel like you're planning things out. I feel like um, you're working on yourself. Or Spirit is telling you to work on yourself because we do have temptation here. So maybe somebody's going to try to come and throw you off your path or something, right? And you like looking at them like i don't know if i really want to do that you know like spirit help me you know like i don't i'm not i'm not i'm not, I'm not about to lose it all you know so i feel like the spirit is telling you here self-love is the highest frequency that attracts everything that you want and they're telling you to let go of what doesn't serve you with ease so i feel like you have to let go of this energy here there's something here tempting you you know trying to throw you off your path Right. Um, yeah. Partnerships and alliance. It could be a partner, you know, a partnership. It could be, uh, you know, a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a lover as well. And um, Spirit is telling you, you know, you need to change not only your diet, but I feel like change this person as well to raise your vibration. I feel like, you know, you're leveling up right now. You know, the, the universe is ready to deliver you your blessings. So you need to um, change certain things, not only your diet, not only your thinking, but also low vibrational energies that are around you that are going to pull you down. All right. And I feel like that's this temptation here. So I feel like they're telling you, you know, focus on what you're sacrificing, you know, like the, what are you making all these sacrifices for, you know, for you to, um, for you to be able to get this, you know, these blessings, whatever it is that you're doing, maybe you have a, your own business or whatever, like, even if it's just you on your spiritual path right now, there's something that needs to be released. So we have slow and steady progress. Okay. Uh, you, you know, spirit is telling you, you have slow and steady progress happening right now when it comes to, um, again, this business or whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, to, to, to manifest or to come, you know, to come into fruition. We have here protect your energy and we have spell work together. So look at that. <laughs> that is exactly what I was, what I was saying. Like this, all this red and all this just giving me devil energy. I don't know. I have to check what card this is in the tarot, but this is giving me like some devil shit, like for real, for real. So yeah, somebody very low vibrational is um trying to do spell work or they're hating on you. And spirit is telling you, you need to change them, you know, so you could keep on leveling up. All right. So you could level up spiritually. So you could level up in every form. Okay. Anything else? And, you know, spell work is very common. Like, the more that I do these readings, the more that I start to realize that, like, people really be out here doing shit. Like, a lot of people don't... Damn it. A lot of people... It'll come out if it's supposed to come out. A lot of people, um... They don't work. They don't They don't make sacrifices. They don't want to work. They don't want to put in the work for shit, you know? They rather try to do spell work or they, or they try to do evil eye and shit like that, hating on you and shit, trying to throw you off your... 
of your path. So real faith works miracles and it will really help you to receive your abundance. So spirit is telling you to have faith. All right. Don't let none of this just scare you or nothing like that. You go, you protect it. You have nothing to worry about. But spirit is telling you, you have to protect your energy, you know. And how do you do that? Releasing people that don't serve you. Also, you know, um, of course you should do the, you know, the footwork. Which is, you know, uh, protecting yourself with, uh, you know, the um, the salt baths and, you know, your protection and shit like that. You know, your sage, your sage and your palo santo and all that shit, you know. So, Spirit is saying to, you know, do do the footwork on, on the 3D and this is it, you know. This is the this is the footwork, you know. Letting go of what doesn't serve you. All right. These people are trying to, like, throw you off your path. Yeah, you see, false person. This person or these people, they're not really, um you know, for your... For your highest good, okay? So, I don't know what's going on with that. We have here to take a vacation. Maybe you're overworking yourself. Maybe in one to three months, you're going to be able to take a vacation somewhere. You know, because you are making slow and steady progress. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of cards, but let's see. And then we got Spine Through Tarot just popping up right here. You know, maybe they are, they get getting tarot readings because they see that you have this increase that's coming in your finances and they, they trying to leech on, you know? So Spirit is telling you to love yourself as much as you love that toxic nigga, but this could be a toxic bitch as well. <laughs> Basically, you know, just love yourself. Again, release what doesn't serve you with ease, all right? Love yourself. See, look what I say, you're leveling up. You're leveling up and they want to like, they want to leech. It's okay to still hurt from things that you thought that you healed from. So yeah, I feel like this could be a love relationship. Uh, we have your unplug, relax, rest, and retreat. That's connecting to this vacation that they want you to take. Maybe you, you know, you, you overworking yourself. You're working too much, whatever. They want you to just take, look, get out and get some sun. They want you to take some time off because you need to recharge your battery, basically. And as you can see, you know, spirit is trying to level you up spiritually as well. And being out in the sun actually helps, okay? This helps you to recharge your battery. This helps you to rejuvenate yourself. So then we have haters and we have uh, live and let live. So I feel like there are haters that are not, they're not trying to live and let live. You know, they're trying to live your life. They're trying to jump on your bandwagon. They're trying to get a piece of your pie. And spirit is like, no, that's not going to work. They didn't put the work in with you. They didn't, they didn't do all these sacrifices that you're doing here. So you need to let it go. Where you're going, people cannot go with you. So spirit is like, no, let it go. Let's see. Let's get a money message. Show me where we going. What's what's where we going, spirit? Where we going? What's the money looking like? What's waiting for them? You got your blessings. They just waiting. I feel like you just need to release this little thing right here. One more sacrifice, and you get you getting right to it. And I'm getting goosebumps. So that's confirmation from spirit that um. That's all you need to, to get to where you're trying to go. Like, just one more sacrifice. And it's this right here, this person. That's no, that's, they're, not, they're no longer, you know, good for you. All right, show me. All right, we have unethical. So it says, unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. Don't sacrifice your morals for money. And I feel like somebody could be stealing or lying to you about money because Spirit is trying to tell you to release these, these people. Bottom of the deck, we have persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goal. Hard work is required to keep building on your finances. Okay, so you have to keep doing what you're doing. Like I said, you close to to the um you close to the to the goal, but you have to watch out for these unethical people that um they'll do anything for money. All right? And I feel like they could be lying or stealing or trying to steal your money. Now, when you see steal, it doesn't have to be physically stealing your money. These people could try to steal your blessings by doing, you see, they're doing tarot, they're checking up on you, they're trying to see what's going on in your life, and they could definitely try to do that. Now, um, if you are protected, you don't have nothing to worry about, but what can happen is that they could delay the process. Okay. That's, that's something that could happen. Unfortunately, they could delay the process for you. They're not going to stop your blessings, but they could delay your blessings. And, um, this person is on some funny shit. You see, look, beware. 
Be prudent. Things are not what they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters. And don't make any type of financial commitments right now. So Spirit is telling you, don't even try. Don't you even dare try to get um anybody, you know, caught up in the mix. And you know, where is it? Right here, when I was showing y'all, right? Look what's sticking out. Stability, all right? You have your stability right there. It's just waiting. It's just waiting for you to release these people. Look, we have growth. Expect good news in money matters, a raise or a new job offer. Money will soon start flowing to your business and promising opportunities are awaiting. One to three months, something's going to pop off. The universe is already ready to deliver you your blessings. It's already, uh, you know, in... What is it? On the road. You know, your package is on the road already. It's almost at the destination. So what's blocking it? What's blocking them from getting to you is this person. So spirit is telling you, you need to let it go. All right. Uh, I don't know who this person may be, but with this card, with the partnerships and alliances, I feel like it could be somebody that maybe is trying to do some type of business teamwork with you. Or it could be a lover who wants to, you know, um, who wants to get on on the same on the same on the same vibe as you and it's like spirit is like nah this person is moving funny behind your back this person um doesn't have the the, the best intentions for you and this person wasn't shooting with you in the gym <laughs> all right they wasn't shooting with you in the gym they wasn't doing all these sacrifices and shit like that all right they don't they don't got these creative ideas you know like this person just want to just want to jump on your bandwagon so they're telling you here Love yourself, self-love, and, you know, forget that toxic nigga or that toxic bitch. It's time to move forward, all right? So change not only your diet, but the people around you to raise your vibration because this is not just financial. This is leveling up in every form. You have all these, these things coming into your life, all this abundance, and this needs to be released, all right? I don't know how, how many times I have to repeat the same thing, okay? <laughs> and as a matter of fact, look at this card right here just getting my attention, y'all. Spirit is like, look over here, look over here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Get it done. If you was waiting for a sign, here it fucking is. Here's your confirmation. Get it done. Get her done. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming up in my head. Get her done. All right, so that was your reading, y'all. Um, hope I was able to give clarity to whoever needed to receive it. If this is your message, then please like, comment, share, or subscribe. And if you would like to book a full reading, we could definitely do that because this is just a message. This is not a full reading. I go way deeper into it. Um, just send me a DM on Instagram or if you are on YouTube, check out the description and send me an email. All right, take care.